So let's say you're on your way to work in the morning and you come up with a really cool song idea, maybe a lyric or a riff. How do you guys put that information down so you don't forget it? The main challenge, at least for me, is remembering the stuff that I come up with because, you know, one minute's in my brain, the next minute it's gone. And the way I normally tackle these things is I have a cheesy app on my phone that I use to record uh, the idea. And it's really crude and it doesn't really allow me to do much with it other than remember it so that I could later on you know, trying to reproduce that idea when I'm in front of my computer and working with Logic or Pro Tools or whatnot. So, you know, you don't always have the opportunity to capture that, that killer idea then and there. So why is it that someone hasn't actually come up with a better way of recording song ideas? Well, lo and behold, this little device by Spire, and this is made by Isotope, the people that come up with some really cool uh, plugins and software that you can use with your recording devices. Well, they've come up with a very compact device called the Spire. And I guess the reason why they named it Spire is because it captures, you know, what inspires you. And that is, you know, your song ideas. So it basically looks like nothing you've ever seen before. And when I first saw it, I was a little bit confused, perplexed, intrigued even, as to what it can do and how well it actually works. Now, the videos that I saw on this device seemed very intriguing because to me, it seemed like it was a very easy piece of equipment to use. So I wanted to check it out for myself to just to see how well it worked, how easy it was to use, what kind of learning curve was involved with it, and what kind of results we can get by using it. So the real magic in this device is not the design, the, the shape and look of it, it's actually how well it works. It actually works along with your phone. So you have to take the device and connect it to the mobile app that works along with it, and the two pieces of equipment work seamlessly together. And what really blew my socks off about this device is how well it actually does what it does. I wasn't expecting it to work so well, to be honest with you, and I was expecting it to be more limited than it is and to have a steeper learning curve. So the really cool thing about this is that they thought of all the different angles and possibilities that you'd be using it for. Now, let's say you're on the road. Let's say you want to go and you're visiting a friend of yours uh, that plays bass and sings and you want to actually record your ideas together. You just take this little guy, put it in your uh, bag along with the wall wart that is used to power it and you're good to go. Everybody's got their phone today, so obviously that's going to be in your pocket. And the built-in microphone that's in the front of this thing, it will discreetly capture everything that's going on in the room. So if you want to do a rough demo, you can easily do it with that one built-in microphone. In the back of the unit, we have some inputs here, so you can actually plug in another couple of microphones or a microphone and a bass or a guitar. You even have a switch there for phantom power. You have a discrete power button there and a little input so you can plug it in and get power to the unit, as well as an input in the back for headphones and another input, input in the front of it for headphones as well. So two people can easily use this device to be able to monitor what they're playing, sing along and play along with it to record some ideas. Now it is a full fledged multi-track unit. So you can easily record multiple tracks, multiple takes of the same idea. And you know, the beauty of it is that the interface is just a series of LED lights along the top of it. And these lights are all you really need to understand what's going on. So if you're a technophobe and you don't want to spend a bunch of time reading a manual, you can easily find your way 
with this device. It has three buttons on the front of it. So one is just to arm a new track and create a new track so it's ready to record. The other button is a sound check button. So you just play, press that button, strum along with it or sing along with it so it analyzes the levels and balances everything so you don't clip it. And then the last button is just a button to control the volume on your headphones so you can hear yourself at the right volume that you want to be uh, using it at. So other than that, you have a stop button and a play button. So if you want to play back what you just recorded, you can easily just press one of those two buttons to do that as well. Now, once you've captured the performance, the rest of the magic happens from the phone. So you could delete tracks, you can create new tracks, you can mix them, you can do some editing as well. There's also some special effects that you can put in there as well as a reverb, guitar effects, bass effects, cabinet simulations, amp simulations. If you want to just get an idea down and you don't want to carry your amp with you, you can definitely do it with this device as well. So it really is an all in one wonder. And I thought when I first saw it that it would be cheaply made and maybe wouldn't withstand the wear and tear you know, if you want to carry this with you somewhere, but the unit is actually made out of a very nice, heavy aluminum, and it is built very, very well. It's got a rubber pad in the bottom of it, so it doesn't slide around. It dampens it so you don't have vibrations happening. It's just really well thought out. And I want to show you just how easy it is to use this by recording a very raw, uh, demo. I'm just going to use acoustic instruments, my voice, and whatever acoustic uh, effects I can muster up to demo how well and how easy this thing is to use. So without further ado, let me get my acoustic guitar out and we're going to start playing this thing and recording something really cool with it. So let's do that and see what we come up with. All right, so right now we have the unit plugged in to the telephone. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a sound check and I'm going to show you how easy it is to arm the phone and get ready to actually record. So before we want to do anything with the unit, we want to make sure that the volume level is correct. So I'm going to hit the sound check button here and you can see that the microphone, the internal microphone is already picking up my voice because the LEDs are going up and down. But if I hit the sound check button, and I strum some chords. So basically now, it, the levels are ready for me to actually record. The phone here is basically connected to the device. So we can see here that there's a project already in there. Now, for sake of explanation, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create another song idea or song. So I can either press this button here, which will automatically arm the system on my phone and have it ready to record. As you can see right now, the indicators are flashing here as well as on my phone. The new track is armed and I can either press the record button here or there to start recording. So what I'm gonna do is right now I'm monitoring the sound levels on my headphones. I actually would like to have um, a metronome while I record. So I'm gonna hit the little metronome icon here and you can see that there's a metronome there and I wanna basically tap the tempo. So let's see if we can do that. So that should be good and we can listen to it. Obviously you can't hear it right now because it's being played in my headphones, but I can hear the, metro, the metronome sounding and it's gonna sound as I record. Let's go back to the record screen here. Everything is armed. So I'll put that down and I'll hit the record button on the unit I can also do it here, but I'm just gonna do it here and it's gonna to start to record.
So that is how easy it is to actually record a track here. So this sound file that we have here now can be played back. So I can actually listen to it. And although you can't hear it because it's in my headphones, I'll put the track for you to hear later on. All right, so once I have the first track recorded on the phone, all I really need to do is re hit record again and it will, re will re automatically record the next track. So let's do that. Okay, so if I don't like the way the sound claps came out in that particular track, I can just delete the track and do it again. So this time around, I'm gonna try to record a, a shaker to be able to get a little bit more effects into it. So let's grab the shaker and record that. So here we have our handy little shaker. As you can see, we're not going crazy. We're just doing whatever we can to put down some tracks. So I'm gonna be using the shaker now to record the next track. And all I have to do at this point is just hit the record button again. All right, so now we have three tracks on our phone. So we have the initial guitar, we have the hand claps, we have the shaker. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate, I'm gonna pull out my bass guitar and we're gonna record the bass guitar. Now for the bass, I wanna add a little bit of an effect here. So what I'm gonna select here is the recording effects and you can see that there's a whole bunch of effects including uh, acoustic shaper, uh, warm voice, uh, but for this case we're just going to use the bass uh, guitar or amplifier simulator and I'm not going to do anything too crazy here I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to select OK and we're basically ready to record the next track so let's do that and hopefully it comes out OK All right, so I think I could live with that. So now the next step will be doing the voices and to spare your ears, I'm not gonna do it on the microphone because I'm gonna probably be doing a couple of takes. But what I really wanna do is just record some of the vocal tracks and then the backing vocals. So let me do that and then let me mix it all down for you and we can listen to what it sounds like when it's finally done. Okay, so once we have all the tracks in place the way we want them to be, as you can see here now I have about seven or eight tracks that I recorded including bass line, uh, singing, melody, accompaniment, some clapping, the shaker, uh, you know, just various elements of uh, the song. And once we're ready to uh, take that song and uh, mix it up, we can actually go to the mix window. And the cool thing about the way the Spire works is that the mix window, the tracks and how you want them to appear in terms of spatial relationships, if you want it to be panned left, 
panned right, brought up in the mix, or brought down in the mix. It, it, it all is done with a series of dots, and all you have to do is grab the dot and move it up if you want it to be further up in the mix, bring it back down if you want it further down on the mix, if you want it towards the center, you just drag it onto the center, and so on and so forth. So it's a visual representation of how you can actually mix it. And all you have to do is play the song, listen to it until you're happy with it, and then once that is done, you're ready to export it. Now, the next step uh, when you wanna export the actual project, uh, the cool thing is that the Spire will automatically prepare it for you. So if this is the actual uh, project that we recorded, and so if we want to take that now and export it, we can click on the export link uh, on the window there. And basically it's going to give us some options if we want to enhance it or not, if we want it to give it uh, the highest quality for the export, if you wanna export for social media, for SoundCloud, for you know individual tracks instead of the whole thing, uh, the entire project so we can continue working on it, uh, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna put Enhance on, and basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna imp improve the clarity of the actual recording and uh, while it's working you can see the lights on the spire here telling you that something's going on so we're boosting the loudness now and uh, basically enhance is on so we can actually play this and listen to it before we export it and then if we don't want to have the enhance on we can turn it off and it all depends on you know the the sound quality we want to work with so in this particular case I'm not going to put the enhance on I'm just going to leave it as is but I'm going to export it as the highest quality and it gives me a pop-up window here and it says the process may use your phone's data plan and data usage rates may apply the file is approximately 13 megabytes now I'm on Wi-Fi so it's no big deal and I can definitely say okay to that and as you can see now it's preparing the mix to be sent and you can see the lights go on on the spire as well and uh, you know we can export it to different things we can actually save it as a file we can save it to Dropbox we can uh, you know send it to somebody uh, via a text message if the format is uh, small enough so in this case I'm gonna save it to my files. We can see the name of the file here and I'm just gonna add it and save that and basically that is done. And we can basically take that now, export it into uh, Logic and I can actually prepare it so you guys can hear it and we can make you hear what the final production sounds like. So stay tuned for that step. Somewhere deep inside Something's got a hold on you And it's pushing me aside See it stretch on forever And I know I'm right For the first time So there you go guys, that was a little quick sound sample that was created in just a few minutes using the Spire tool here. And uh, I just wanted to give you an, a rough idea of how quickly you can throw together a, a song idea. Of course, my singing is not up to par. Remember guys, I'm not a singer. So please be gentle with the comments about the singing, don't hurt my feelings. I'm not a singer, you know that. I just wanted to throw together something for you to understand how quickly it can be done. Now this tool really has changed the way I approach recording my ideas. I no longer dread having to set everything up and I can 
do it very, very quickly, down and dirty with this tool in just a matter of minutes. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to capture that next create creative idea and share it with your band and develop it and create the next number one big hit because it really does make it easy. So there's a lot of technical information on the Isotope website about the Spire. I encourage you guys to go check it out because it goes into a lot more technical detail than I can get into here. But just suffice it to say that I'm really impressed by this little tool. Uh, and you know, the geniuses who put this thing together down in Isotope, the engineers, big thumbs up to you guys because you're really making it a heck of a lot easier for guys like me to record their ideas. And there's no reason for me not to be able to do it because it's just so darn easy. So check out the information. I'll put the link down in my notes below if for those of you who want to check it out and uh, that's it for today guys i just wanted to share this great uh, little device with you guys if you like the information that i'm presenting here and you like my videos please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so because that's the reason i do this i do this to encourage uh, you know the exchange of information and i love it when you guys give me comments good or bad about the stuff that i'm presenting here so if you enjoy it and you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, hit the little bell icon and you'll get a little notification so you don't miss any of the cool, great stuff that I have coming your way. That's it for today, but don't worry guys, because there'll be more great stuff coming your way. Stay tuned, keep rocking, we'll see you next time.